Hey guys, Nick was like, welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna do my Funko Pop collection. Um, basically, um, as you guys know, I'm just I got new equipment. And I'm just trying to really test this out, see how it works, see how it looks. Um, this is one of those videos. So today I'm gonna show you guys my Funko Pop haul. Uh, I'm just gonna show you all the ones I've collected so far. Back behind, you can't really see behind me, but I got them all stacked. Um, as you can see, uh, those are really all my all the ones I have. Um, loose ones. Um, they equal, actually equal to the amount I have. They're the small ones that I have in boxes, so that's pretty insane. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into this, and I just want to see how this looks. Um, you guys know I am a huge addict when it comes to Funko Pops. Uh, this actually equals probably the two hundred to three hundred dollars, most likely two hundred. So let's get right into this. Okay, so the first ones I'm going to start off is the ones that are loose, considering they're not in the box, because I don't have them no more. So let's start off with. Uh, Rocky Raccoon, because he's the smallest. Um, so yeah, I got this at GrapeCon. I'm going to be telling you guys the locations and where. Um, I got this, uh, how much? And I got this at GrapeCon for five bucks. It was actually a deal, five for two. Um, as you can see here, here where he looks. Let's just come on, focus. This is how he looks like, as you can see. How really detailed, like, he's probably a little bit dusty, but that's about it. Um, I got him for five bucks. He's probably one of the smallest ones I have, not the smallest because i'll show you guys in a bit but one of the smallest i have regular size as you can see there's his fur and his back of the head as you can see and then he has this gun here if i can focus it here come on focus focus focus, focus. i just had it focus 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 there you go okay as you can see the gun is really highly detailed um, I wonder how long it took him to do it, but anyway, I got this at GrapeCon for five bucks in a deal. I got four of these. I don't have the fourth one. My little sister has a butter for her, but yeah, this is basically Rocket Raccoon. Pretty cool character and overall really fun. He is a bobblehead, by the way. She didn't notice that. Okay, let's get right. So, next one. Go to Croc. So, Go to Croc. I bought in a bundle um, with Arkham. Asylum Batman and Arkham Asylum Joker and as you can see here He's pretty big for a regular size Funko Pop and actually kind of heavy He fits he, he kind of like I can't even like hold him in a fist as for Rocky Raccoon As you can see I can close my fist, but I can't close it with this because and I sometimes No lie. I use Killer Croc as a hammer when I like some of these comics over here I had to use this to bang him in and he does not get scratched that's how good his paint is his paint job so let's get right into this actually so as you can see he is very awesome when it comes to the detail as you can see there's his chain collar from the arkham games um and yeah so he's also you can see a little bit of the gradient on his mouth um let's see if it focuses here there you go um kind of gradient there on his mouth um his change his spikes as you can see from the back, he's got his spikes on his spine, and there's his back detail, as you can see, it's under there. But yeah, overall, I really like this one, this is a really cool one to have. Um, I think he's like, it's kind of hard to find now, actually, I don't really see him around much. Um, but he is a pretty cool looking Funko Pop, one of my favorites, actually, in detail, and yeah, I just really love this one. So, I do use him as a hammer, that's not a lie. Next, um, one of the ones that is, gets me frustrated when I have to stand it up. I have to lay it on a flat surface or else it will not stand up. But anyway, so this one is the Arkham Asylum Joker. I also got this uh, with Killer Croc in Roseville in a bundle with Batman Arkham Asylum one. You guys know. Um, as you can see here, it has a smile. Doesn't really look like the Arkham Asylum one. Um, not very, you know, it's not, it's not like highly to like him, but... Uh, overall, it is pretty cool. Let's see if it focuses here. Focus, come on, focus. Okay, maybe because he's really thin, it won't focus. <sighs> no, you don't want to focus. Come on. No, you don't want to. You don't want You you don't, you don't play this game. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see if the lighting will do it. Ah, oh, fuck. That's too bad lighting. That's really bad. Okay, so here we go. Maybe this will do it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, as you can see, he's got a suit. 
pretty cool. He got his, also his little flower that he shoots acid from. Ah, uh, focus, focus on his body, focus on his body. Maybe because he's thin. He's a really thin Funko Pop for a body, so his head is really like heavy in his body. <sighs> As you can see, he falls instantly. But um, yeah, really like it. Look, I like his hair design also. If you didn't see that, so let's get on to the next one. Uh, I'm gonna go with my first ever one. Earth 2 Batman. Earth 2 Batman I got at StoutingCon for, I believe, $15. He was a Hot Topic exclusive, um, as you can see here. Um, I did get him for $10. He's actually my first one, and he's still in really good condition, as you can see, even outside the box. Um, his red cape from there, his bat symbol. This is Thomas Wayne, by the way. Um, and as you can see, he's got his back from there. But overall, I really like this design, his red eyes. I choose this one over the Adam West Batman. Um, just simply because it's red and I, my favorite color is red. So yeah, so it's really cool to look at and stuff. So let me see if I can focus it here. Come on, focus, buddy. Focus, 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 focus. It doesn't want to focus. Come on, you autofocus. There you go. Okay. As you can see, this camera sucks with autofocusing. There you go. Okay, so as you can see. Yeah, one of my favorite in detail. And I really love the red design. I don't, I just, I don't know if I should really love it. Next one is a PT, a PT exclusive. I think it's a PX exclusive. The Flash Funko Pop. As you can see here, I'm not even done. This is six minutes. As you can see, one of my favorites. I really love the design of this one. Unfortunately, I got some paint behind them. Um, trying to drive my Joker painting here. And yeah, so I got to him at I think at Great Con too. I also got Joker at Gas yes, Roseville, and this one's at Sutton Con. Um, yeah, so overall he's pretty cool to look at. I just had to turn him like that so I don't see his paint because it's really fucking frustrating to see how the paint it drives me insane. This is the first time looking at the paint in months actually. So yeah, it's pretty cool design. Uh, next one, <sighs> Bam Beyond. Batman Beyond is not my personal favorite in detail. There's not really much to him, um, but overall, I do like I do like him. As you can see here, this is Terry McGinnis um, from Batman Beyond. Um, his bat symbol there. His bat symbol. Um, this, I think this is the animated series. This is not a comic book version. This is the animated series version for Batman Beyond. As you can see, um, he's got that mean mugging face. Like, oh, I'm a bunch of crap in the face. Um, and yeah, it's not really much to him, but overall, I really do like it. It's, I really like him, but he's not my personal favorite. But yeah, he costs five dollars along with um, Rocky Raccoon. <sighs> Next is Deadpool. Deadpool, I uh, he's kind of banged up, but overall it looks really badass. Just because it's Deadpool. I mean, come on now. Um, he's also a bobblehead. He's one of my few bobbleheads. Over, along with Rocket Raccoon, as you can see, but he doesn't really bobble. I think his head is stuck now. Um, as you can see, he's got his katana and his gun, his mini gun, and yeah, as you can see, there's paint in his face, kind of, but it kind of looks like a war mark, which I really like about that. Um, as you can see, symbol on his belt, kind of from here to behind, where he puts his swords. And overall, I really do enjoy him. I really like how they added this at the back of his head. That kind of like really shows that they put really detail into it. Also, here's a little handgun. Forgot to throw that. There's his handgun and his, I don't know what that is, a, a, a holster, something like that. But overall, I really like this. The katana is kind of movable, as you can see, but it can be easily broken if you move it too much. But overall, I really do enjoy it. Um, the gun doesn't move at all. His head bobbles like a fucking twig, um, but overall, I really do enjoy these Funko Pops. Deadpool most likely is my favorite um, so far. Um, one of the coolest ones. I actually got him for $5, too, along with Frankie Rockin. Um, Next is my Arkham Asylum Batman. This one I kind of take care of and then sometimes I forget to dust it off because it just collects dust, especially when it has the black paint on it. But overall, here we go. As you can see, this is the Arkham Asylum Batman. Um, it's not really much to it. The suit does look amazing though, I'm gonna admit that. I really love the cape and his cow look, how it gives him that like mean look. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really behind him. Um, the ears are not pointy, um, actually, I forget which, I used to have a Funko Pop Batman that I ears were actually, t like, pointed to the fucking tip, um, and yeah, so as you can see, there's his belt, I, just, I think you can, if it focuses here, just like, little bats on it, come on, focus, 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 
Okay, you can't really see. Yeah, come on now. Focus. Oh, there we go. So there's not, as you can see, there's highly detail. There's detail on the chest there. If it focuses. Do it again. Come on. There you go. See, you can see there's like, like, um, kind of like Kevlar detail on his chest. His gauntlets. I really enjoy his boots. Everything about this Funko Pop I really love. And he's personally my favorite in detail. Even the chest. You can feel like the bumps and stuff with the Kevlar. It's really overall cool. Um, next is going to take some the box one there are ones in the box um so let's go with harley quinn with the mullet now harley quinn with the mullet i actually got this as a birthday gift uh for my friend kryptonian gamer you guys may know him as you can see harley quinn with the mullet here's the side here's the front not gonna open these by the way um harley quinn with the mullet on the side her top her bottom and her front oh on the back as you can see here, um, there's Superboy, Batman Beyond, Harley Quinn, Nightwing, and Darkseid. What I really want is Darkseid and Superboy just because of their designs and Nightwing. I saw Nightwing the other day too, but I didn't get a chance to get him. I didn't really want him, so <laughs> just, but um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. The mullet especially. Um, I love how she got that mean, mean money look. This is actually one of my favorite costumes for Harley Quinn, her animated series costume. It's really cool. Um, I do like it. It's, I, I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite costumes. Like, um, I don't really like her comic book look. The animated series is the one I like to stick to. It's, it's just she's more joyful and funny in there. So, yeah, I really like this Funko Pop. It's it's really cool. Okay, so that's this one here. Next, we're going to take um, a Hot Topic exclusive, actually. Um, I got this with Harley Quinn all the way in Santa Cruz. Um, as you can see... <sighs> There's, you can't see it, but it says, I am Groot on the pot. It's green, hot topic exclusive, and it's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy set. Side, in the back. Top, and bottom. Yeah, overall, it's one of my favorites. I thought it was really cool, so I got it. Um, I actually got this on a deal. It cost $15 or $12, but it ended up costing $8. So that was pretty cool. Next, I'm going to take Harley Quinn. Which I also got with Groot. As you can see, Harley Quinn, the new 52 version. This is one of my favorite looks. It's probably the second most favorite look I like from Harley Quinn. Arkham Knight. Or it's between Arkham Knight and the new 52. Um, but overall, as you can see, I really enjoy this one. Um, this is her, um, I believe, her uh, roller derby look. Um, I don't know if they have another one, but this is her roller derby look. And this is really cool. Um, they kind of messed up her hair. I did a re unboxing of it, but I put her back in her box simply because she she won't stand up. Um, Harley, as you can see here, her side, her you know from the back, and from the back it's just a card. Um, and these I think these are the ones that get their own unique design to their box. Um, include yeah. Um, and I think it's just in the solo series actually. I don't really know. I'm not really that hardcore of a Funko Pop fan. I just collect these just simply because I really enjoy these. These are really easy to collect. And yeah, so stack it right there. Okay, next, let's take from one of my most favorite ones. Yeah, man, a Mass Marvel's um, Collection Corpse exclusive. And it's also their smallest Funko Pop ever. This is the one I was talking about earlier. Um, the box has already been opened. So as you can see there, the smallest, the smallest Ant-Man ever and their smallest Funko Pop ever is in here it's a bobblehead it actually is a bobblehead it's no lie um as you can see here is scott lang the side of his box in the back there's only the ant-man and yellow jacket and as you can see it's the top and bottom i mean top bottom and top and you can also see the small little ant-man let me turn it around for you guys yeah he's actually really small in size like he looks kind of big from here but he's actually extremely small like that that small he can fit in the size of my hand like that small like really really small um next let's do uh, i'm gonna keep the big ones for last let's do my daredevil um i did not get this at target i got this at stocking con along with ant-man um as you can see here um this is his yellow version um they do sell the red version at hot topic um so i'm gonna get that pretty soon uh, as you can see here, it's a Target exclusive. 
Uh, I don't, you cannot find these in Target no more. These are really limited. I've seen these go for 60 bucks. I have never taken this out of its box ever since I bought it. And as you can see here, it's really cool. I really enjoy this Funko Pop. It's amazing. I got this after I was watching, after I watched Daredevil um, season one. I got, I got this, I was trying to find these because Daredevil season one got me hooked on Daredevil. So, um, Next, Reverse Flash is one I really enjoyed. I debated so hard if I should get this one or not, but I really wanted a Reverse Flash Funko Pop. And the one I wanted that's in that's a Houston, uh, that's a Texas Comic Con exclusive, is only a 2000 set piece. So as you can see, here's the front, the side, the back, and as you can see, um, if you guys want to know where, I know some of you guys are having trouble. Some people are having trouble to find Captain Cold. He's actually at Barnum Nobles, and he costs eight dollars, so you can get him there. Uh, the Flash is really easy to find. I think he's in um, Hot Topic mostly where I see him. Um, I can't find the unmasked Captain Cold. I think that's a San Diego exclusive along with the Flash unmasked. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this one. Um, the yellow paint, I kind of, it's like an air for me. I really wish they would have added the black lines to his suit, as you can see on his jawline here. But it's fine. I mean, it's it's really cool. They did get some paint on him, which kind of sucks on his chest. But overall, I really do like his design, and it's pretty cool. Okay, next, Arkham Knight. Um... It's not my, it is my least favorite of design. It's it just, it, it's not disappointing, but it's, it's cool. I just wanted it because I wanted an Arkham Knight figure considering Arkham Knight is only an Arkham Knight and he's a brand new character, but definitely not my favorite in design. As you can see here, um, his, they tried to make the blue thing, they tried to make the blue kind of thing. Um, where he glows, but it didn't really work out for them, as you can see, Arkham Knight, and it's like, eh, it's not my favorite in design, as you can see, here's the series, all I need left is Batman and Harley Quinn, which I really want Harley Quinn, because her outfit is just amazing in Arkham Knight, and yeah, so it's not my personal favorite, I got this, uh, where did I get this? GameStop, I think it's GameStop, I forgot where I got this, I think it's Game, I think I got it at GameStop or Hot Topic, I think I bought it at Hot Topic, I think I did buy it, yeah, I bought it at Hot Topic, I bought it the same day about my Batman v Superman poster, um, yeah, so, let's get, let's now go for Scarecrow, Scarecrow, holy shit, he is hard to find, he is sold out right now where I live, but as you can see, I got this for a birthday present too, um, he is really high quality when it comes to detail he got his suit so correct he has that creepy look he is um a funky he is hardy arkham knight collector's um, a collection um i really do enjoy it even the back is just a phenomenal his claws are amazing it just really fits scarecrow and i really enjoy that this we actually made an official one i've seen some custom ones but this one holy crap Thank God, because I do not know how to craft my own Funko Pop. So let's get right into let's. Yeah, it's one of here. So let's get into the big ones now, shall we? Um. So next one is Stay Puff. I actually got this for twelve dollars, which big ones usually cost a lot. Um. But I got this one for twelve dollars. It says eighteen on the tag. I got this at Starting Con this year. It is the burnt Stay Puff. Um. As you can see. Um. It's it's really big. I actually unboxed this a long time ago. It's not that heavy. It looks heavy. It's not. It's actually really lighter. Thanos is actually bigger. It's actually heavier than this. It's part of the 30 year anniversary kit. As you can see, there's Slimer, and there you go. He's actually pretty huge uh, when it comes to this. I can't I can't really focus on the camera. Yeah, it's it's really I really enjoy this one. It's cool, and I I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbuster movies. And it was really cool getting this one. I was actually, he was actually on my top list. And you cannot find this in stores. So it was really hard to get him. I'm really glad I got him. It was just amazing that I found them. Uh, not the one I wanted, but the burnt version is pretty cool enough. Um, there was a San Diego exclusive, the one where he's all burnt and glows in the dark. But I didn't want him. So, uh, But I like this version really a lot. Uh, next is my last Funko Pop of the day. And that is Thanos. Thanos, actually, 
Um, I got him along when I got Convergence Issue 1 in the first printing of Com uh, Convergence Issue 2. Um, he actually is heavier than he looks. He's actually a lot bigger than Stay Puff. Uh, I think he's the biggest Funko Pop I have. Um, and he is really heavy inside of an unboxing video for him. Um, as you can see, he's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy set. Um, here. Yeah, overall, I really do enjoy this one. He is a bobblehead, by the way, if you guys don't know. He, do, he can't see it here, but he's an actual bobblehead. And that what makes in his head is, like, fucking gigantic in size. So, um, overall, I do enjoy this one. Probably one of my favorites in Marvel. My most favorite, by far, is the Scarecrow Arkham Knight Funko Pop. Uh, but that's about it, guys. I gotta go get these back to where they belong. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a pretty long video, but I just want to show you guys my Arkham Knight collection. Um, holy shit, this video was one gig, so that's a lot. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment and subscribe, you guys. This name was Light, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.